BC Tree Fruits, a source of Canadian grown produce on store shelves across the country and in the U.S. A once thriving industry is now at a critical crossroads, say farmers who are searching for new facilities to pack and store product. We're looking at probably upwards to 1,000 to 1,500 acres of apples that don't have a home and they will most likely just hit the ground. Summerland BC cherry grower Deep Brar says after four years of challenges from pandemic driven worker shortages to extreme heat and cold weather events, last week's shocking collapse of the BC tree fruit cooperative dealt the ultimate blow. And my dad started with them and they basically taught him how to farm when he came in the 70s. In response, community initiatives like Apple Fest are emerging, aiming to connect farmers with local buyers. We're going to create a website to show everybody where you can purchase. So these grocery stores are specifically helping these small farmers. In the U.S., they've got 134 million 40-pound boxes of fruit, which is 28% increase over last year. So, you know, they're going to flood the market too. So the government better be ready to come in to stabilize prices for the growers. Last year, the provincial and federal governments announced support to tree fruit farmers in PEI. In a statement to Global News, Ottawa pledged to work closely with BC's government to support BC's tree fruit farmers during this difficult time. Issues that we have, which are the same as PEI, which is the same as Ontario, but we always seem to be forgotten in the Okanagan. You think after 90 years in your family, you might have to leave this industry? I hope not, but every day it's more and more likely. We grow because we love what we do. The province confirms BC's Premier and Agriculture and Food Minister will visit the region this week. Farmers say without immediate help, there won't be a tree fruit industry left to save. Neetu Garja, Global News, Vancouver.